Everyone goes through an identity crisis now and then, but no one really does it quite like the Wokies. Take for example this grown man who identifies as a baby and gets himself kicked out of a public park. As always, stick around to the end for the recap, this week's woke news and much, much more. Now it's too bad that even as a self-identifying baby, we can't strip him away of all his voting and adult rights. Although wishful thinking aside, I think we can all agree someone really needs to change that diaper and get him far away from any playgrounds. Meanwhile, this next identity crisis seems much more like a new mix of schizophrenia and mood disorders. Take a watch. I find my gender, but it's really hard in 60 seconds, so I'm going to talk really fast. I'm gender fluid, and here's how that works for me. Most of the time, I'm one of two, like, modes or mindsets. Most of the time, I am this weird amalgamation of, like, genders and vibes and essence and just being that I literally cannot define. I don't know. You're just going to have to take my word for it. It's like the universe. It's, like, ever-flowing. There's, like, sparkles, and it's just, like, it, it changes over time, and it moves through each other, and it's never, it's never one thing. And then other like majority of the time I'm just a void like there's nothing there it, it there's just an absence and I don't know how else to describe it so either everything or nothing those are the two that I'm usually in but then every once in a while I don't know where it comes from but I'll just be thrust back into a binary I'll just be sitting there chilling enjoying my life and then all of a sudden I'm a man like who asked or a woman yeah. now all of that just seemed like a very long-winded way of saying I'm mentally ill and I hope she takes her schizophrenia medication because none of what she said made any sense. But just wait. If you thought that was confusing, here are two more clips of folks mindlessly explaining their different identities. I am trigender, which means like a triangle, I have three genders. Male, female, and non-binary. And the difference between trigender and gender fluid is that I feel all three of these genders at the same time. You really believe that? I am a white, transmasculine, femme, non-binary, temporarily, mostly able-bodied, neurodivergent, obsessive, compulsive, chronically ill, culturally Jewish, unitarian, universalist, non-monogamous, demi-low romantic, gray demi-bisexual, survivor of acute and complex trauma, millennial, and cat parent in mental health recovery. Anything else? Now I think you could cram all of those labels under attention seeker, because if you have to read your identity off a piece of paper, you're just crying out for attention. Meanwhile, I think the trigender lady needs to try shutting the hell up with these useless pronouns because it's giving me a headache and it's obvious her entire identity is just trying to be different from others. But moving right along, next up is the tale of one particularly troubled woman who similarly has a lot of self-identity issues to work through. And I'm very happy with it. <laughs> so as you can see, I do have 40mm nostrils now. <laughs> so what we did was we got a scalpel <laughs> and we cut <coughs> we cut off six millimeters on each side <laughs> it took about four or five hours and it was quite difficult i, I didn't enjoy the process <laughs> but no pain no game and uh, yeah I'm, I'm in quite a lot of pain today but it's fine like it, it will pass and I do love the result, and I'm very happy with it. <laughs> I don't believe you. Now I'm going to go out on a limb and guess this woman isn't employed anywhere. And honestly, besides a tattoo parlour, I don't see how this woman ever plans on getting a job. It's actually sad how much pain and trauma this person went through to self-mutilate like that. It's almost like the human equivalent of birds picking their feathers when under stress or abuse. But enough stress for now. Let's sit back and watch this surprisingly accurate comedy sketch about a kid spelling bee in the modern day. Your word is woman. Well, woman, can I have the country of origin, please? I, I don't, I don't, it, it, probably England or Germany or something. Woman. Um, can I have the definition, please? Uh, why don't you ask Judge One that question? Can I have the definition of woman, please? 
No. Why not? I'm allowed to ask for definitions, right? The the thing is, a woman is the there. The a woman is 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 yeah, what, she's, women... what she's trying to say is that each person gets to define for themselves what a a woman is. So can you do define it? No. Why? I just want to know the definition of woman. And that makes you a hateful little bigot, Lincoln. Now, as funny as that video was, it still highlights the absurdity and decay of our society. And it's not even that we can't define a woman, it's just that we don't want to offend unreasonable demons who don't understand logic and shout like a gorilla at everything they don't like. And now for our penultimate clip, here's an interesting take on the Quran by a trans woman. Take a listen to this. I started reading the Quran and I am so excited about it. People thought when I first asked that I just wanted to read it out of curiosity, but I want to read it to study it. I started following somebody on social media that teaches the Quran and hosts a Quran book club for Muslims and non-Muslims, so I'm really excited to start going to that. She was describing the chapter of the bee and that just blew my mind, like the way that she describes things and the way that the Quran describes things actually makes sense to me. And also, did you know that Allah is beyond gender? Did you know that actually scholars believe that there are two Qurans, the Quran of nature and the Quran, the actual book. And did you know that each chapter is named after a natural phenomenon? I just, I don't know, this whole book is just blowing my mind and I am so excited. I got sticky notes so that I could mark out things that I was, ex that I was drawn to. And uh, I'm not even through the first chapter and <laughs> I already have a bunch of sticky notes. I'm definitely going to have to buy more tabs. I'm honestly having a whole revolution with myself where the way that I describe the universe and the things that I believe in are actually described in the Quran of believing in Allah and I, I've never thought that I believed in God before and now I'm really having a revolution of self of I think I actually believe in God. If you've been curious, I really recommend it. There are a lot of people who are converting. There's a lot of people who are reading it. I'm not saying I'm going to convert. I'm not saying that I wouldn't. Um, and I don't know. I just, I know that this is exactly what I need right now. I just wanted to say thank you and just point out how excited I am. Now I'd love to hear what you guys think in the comments but I wonder what she'll think about the verse on homosexuality, let alone her transgenderism. Because my guess is she hasn't actually read a single page and is just saying this all for attention. But anyways, to wrap up today's clips of self-delusion, I present to you the police force going through their very own identity crisis. Hi, I'm Officer Lutz with the Columbus Division of Police. I'm your LGBTQIA plus liaison officer. And we're unveiling right now our Pride Cruiser for the month of June. I'm excited about this cruiser. It's great for representation. It's the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Now this would be one of the few times I'd be okay with defunding the police, because I can't imagine the cops showing up in this atrocity of a vehicle to de-escalate any situation. The whole thing just shows how far the world's fallen into madness. Now as far as identity crises go, it's hard to imagine the average person take it to the extreme by identifying as a baby, or thinking they have three genders, or even take self-mutilation to a whole new level, but that's the world we live in today really makes you miss the days where having an identity crisis meant getting an edgy haircut or going out and buying a tacky sports car. And don't be surprised if this becomes a lot more common in the next generation. Last month, a study found that most of the English texts being studied by Victorian Year 12 students were woke, according to Sky News Australia. This study conducted by the Institute of Public Affairs found that 19 of the 36 texts on the reading list contained woke or social justice ideology texts, which were mostly grounded in critical race theory or critical gender theory. And only six of those texts were considered non-ideological essential texts of the Western canon. Now, some might not think it's a big deal, but the way I see it, these teachers are depriving students of reading historical and classic English literature that stood the test of time texts that actually teach them to think critically, and instead they're teaching them to see the world through the divisive lens of woke ideology. So, is it any surprise that so many young children seem to have mental health issues and struggle with their identity? 
Now, I honestly don't think any of this can continue forever, because hopefully parents will see the agenda that's being pushed at the cost of their children's education standards. But we all need to speak up about stuff like this when we see it. Otherwise, things really don't look good for the next generation.